It's a seashore. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Tell me about this seashore. Describe it for me. It has. It's isolated. Nobody is there. And it has beautiful sand. And the seagulls. And the sea is beautiful. What color is it? It's turquoise. And the dolphins. The dolphins are waiting to play. Mm -hmm. <coughs> How many do you see? Oh. Twenty. Mm -hmm. And there are whales. I can't see them, but they're there. Mm -hmm. I love the whales, mm -hmm. and I love the dolphins. Now, as you observe these beautiful creatures, I'd like for you to focus on yourself. What do you look like as you're observing mm -hmm. them? I'm barefoot. Mm -hmm. I'm thin. I'm wearing like a shift dress, uh -huh. no sleeves, mm -hmm. and it's white, and it has dangly edges. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel there? And I'm blonde. You're blonde. Mm -hmm. Tell me more oh. about yourself. I'm very thin and willowy. Mm -hmm. I. Oh, how old I am. How old do you feel? I'm young. You're young. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know, like... 19. Mm-hmm. I'm beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm so beautiful. Beautiful. So tell I me. have white eyes. White eyes. White. Mm -hmm. White. I mean, white. The They're beautiful. like... You can see inside, mm -hmm. like light. It's like light mm -hmm. in the eyes. No color. What else do you see about you that's interesting? I'm very tall. Mm -hmm. I'm very tall. I'm changing. Mm -hmm. I'm tall and white. I'm very white everywhere. And I have hair. And my hair is long, almost down to my feet. Mm -hmm. And scars from battles. Mm -hmm. I have scars, but I'm still beautiful. What do you call yourself? And Lana. Mm -hmm. and Lana. <sighs> Tell me about yourself, Alana. <sighs> Tell me about these battle scars. What is it that you do there? Who do you battle? You seem to be at peace now. I am immortal. Mm -hmm. I have been on the earth billions of years ago. Billions of years ago. Mm -hmm. And I was sowing the earth. I'm making nature, mm -hmm. and I walk in the nature, and everything loves me. The grass, the animals, they come dancing when they see me, and I, I create the seasons. 
Mm -hmm. I am creating the seasons. Mm -hmm. Helena, can you talk a little louder so I can hear you? I am creating the seasons mm -hmm. because there were no seasons before. Why would you need seasons? For variety. Mm. For the pleasure. Mm. I transform nature. Is a beautiful power. Mm -hmm. And I am like mother. Mm -hmm. I am like mother. Everything loves me. The seeds love me. And I love them. The water, the wind, the earth. So beautiful. The Mm -hmm. Who coated the water for life? We are doing this. Mm -hmm. Many of us transforming the earth mm -hmm. to make it a beautiful paradise. Just everything is singing and happy. The water droplets in the sky, the clouds. So much love. Everything has love. The, the earth itself. It's all alive. Everything is alive. So much love. Everything is happy to be doing what it's doing. Joy. Joy. Joy to be creating this planet. Joy. Ah, labor of love. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Now, Helena, you said that there are others with you. I Who are the others? Elana, not Elana. Oh, Elana. Mm -hmm. Elana. Elana. I do not see them. Mm. Who are I they? know they're the brothers. Brothers. Sisters. We are white. Mm. I am not really solid. Hmm. I am not really solid. Other people are doing other things. Mm -hmm. And other people and other systems doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. Seeding life. Alana, where are you from? The oneness. The oneness. The, the, the one. Mm -hmm. The one. The one sent you to this planet? We are the one. Mm -hmm. Expressions of the one. Of the one. I travel and to other universes where there life embedded other worlds dead mm. no life other codes other codes this here so alive sparkling with life and joy it is a pleasure it is my most beautiful project mm. I love this project is this planet Earth? Yes, mm -hmm. I have been elsewhere. And this is Terra. Mm -hmm. Does Terra have a life of her own? Of course! <laughs> <laughs> of course. How, I, do you, how do you uh, interact with her? I love her. We are together. We are one mm -hmm. of the oneness. Mm -hmm. She is so gentle. Large and gentle, so loving, so loving, so wise. She hums with us and we hum with her. You call it vibration. Mm -hmm. I am happy. So 
so, Ilana, now that you have planted all of this beautiful, all these beautiful things on this planet, what happens now? What's your next assignment? I am now again because I am immortal. I am on the spaceships mm. now. You're on the spaceships. We watch. Hmm. We watch. We have always watched. Watched. We watch. We record. Mm hmm. Yes. So, can you tell me a little bit about these spaceships and what form you take now? Huh. I am as I was. Hmm. And I am also she. She is me. Mm -hmm. And I am her. Are we talking about Rhea? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. It seems yes. to me that Rhea has been going through a lot because she doesn't want to be here. Why is that? I feel her. We know. Mm -hmm. She want to come down here. Would you tell me about it? Because it's caused her quite a bit of pain. We must go forward. Certain things must be done. Would you tell her what happened to Chu for you? Did you choose for her to come? Or did someone else choose for her to come? What happened? Her parents. Her parents? Her parents on Earth? No. Ah. They're not her parents. Who are her parents? If you come from oneness. Another mm. system. Another system. Can you tell me about this system? It sounds very interesting. Connected, though. Connected through the heartstrings mm. of Prime Creator. Okay. And we were sorry. She had to go because certain things, there must always be those who keep the truth alive mm -hmm. because even if one person who Darkness, darkness cannot prevail. As long as there is the one and the harmony mm -hmm. that hold the truth. If there are the truth holders, the system cannot be subverted. Mm -hmm. There are others like her. She did not want to go. We were all greatly pained. Mm -hmm. She was chosen. Who chose her? Her mother and father. Mm -hmm. It was a difficult decision. She misses them, she misses them. She is in pain. Does she visit them when she sleeps? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. yes, a lot. What do they look like, their parents? Like me, but a little bit more solid, mm. light. Copper, bronze, no. 
Copper skin? No, no. Bronze hair. Oh. Bronze hair. Tall, not thin like I am. Mm -hmm. They have more solid bodies. Have we seen any of these type of beings like her parents on Earth before? Yes. Did they have a name? In the old days. Mm -hmm. Not now. Not now. Too painful. Too painful. Too painful. They, they cannot... They cannot... The uh, energies are too low. Mm -hmm. Too low. Too low. Gooey. Oh. It's too gooey on the earth. Oh. Oh. Painful, painful, painful. Mm -hmm. oh, they cannot exist here. The vibration is too low. Mm -hmm. It's like... It's like... Not good. Mm -hmm. Not good. Oh, God. So what does Rhea do when she meets with her parents, when she sleeps? Do they talk about some things? She comes up mm -hmm. to the spaceships. Mm -hmm. She comes up to the ships and she teaches. Mm -hmm. uh, she teaches because we see but we do not always understand. And she teaches about humans. Mm. What does she talk about them? Feelings. Mm. Do you not have feelings like humans? Very different because we are not... I cannot find the words. Please wait to think and form the right words. Mm -hmm. We are not consumed by the emotions. Mm -hmm. They are like fire running in their veins. So much fear. Fear is... Holds classes mm -hmm. to explain. It must be so difficult. I have never incarnated with my body down there. But she is me. Connected, same soul mm -hmm. essence. So, are you what we would call a higher self, or different? In a way, mm -hmm. I am from a higher dimensional split mm -hmm. than she is. I am twelfth dimension mm -hmm. and split. Again and split again, and so on it goes down until the three mm. D. <sighs> now, when you split in a dimension, are you split into other beings? Yes, mm -hmm. we multiply. So, how many Rias are there out there, or how many Elenas are there, Alanas are there? <laughs> Many? Everyone is unique. Mm. They are not Elanas or Reyes. Mm. Each is the one monad, but separate, very separate. Mm. So she wouldn't know if she ran into a split part. 
Sometimes mm. she knows. Mm. How would you know? Helena. Helena. Helena was one of them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Helena That's... and Christina. Mm -hmm. But she knows this already. Why was she not allowed to spend more time with them? Excuse us? Well, they signed, they disappeared from her life. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. They have other things to do. Mm. So when she meets these people that she feels like they're soul sisters. Only two, Christina mm. oh. okay. and Helena down here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what would you like to tell her about her feelings of these women leaving her life? I do not know if she will understand. As she will understand later. Love out of love mm -hmm. they are always with you and they feel the pain of separation too mm -hmm. Helena does and she is to know that Helena is all right mm -hmm. and doing other things okay and to forgive to forgive her it is not from lack of love, it is from necessity. Okay, very good. Now she tells me that she has been hearing your name a lot. She wasn't sure if it was Ilana or Leah. Aliyah. 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 Are they different? I am Aliyah, Aliyah. not the same. Ah. I am another part. Mm. I am guide. Ah. I am her guide. I see. So Ilana is one and Aaliyah is the guide. Ah, so Aaliyah, did you bring her here today? She is very willful. Mm -hmm. You cannot imagine how willful she is. Mm -hmm. By herself she came. Mm. Very scared, but came. Yes. All the same. very difficult to work with her. She is obstreperous. <laughs> <sighs> Tell me about that. She comes from a group of souls that are <sighs> very independent. Mm. She travels. Where does she travel to? She light travels. Mm -hmm. Everywhere there is trouble. Mm. Okay. Like a UN troubleshooter mm -hmm. in every place the universes and systems to work with time hmm. she works with time she is one of the keepers of time and Wherever she goes, she is like a wheel with spikes 
everything and anything that is immobilized the wheel turns and puts in motion again hmm. things that have stagnated people mm -hmm. situations planets systems is that why she's in Greece right now yes she did not want to come as usual mm -hmm. <laughs> so she's been in situations her entire life yes. where she has been with people circumstances everything that and on earth many many times mm -hmm. many times on the island the sacred island of Delos mm -hmm. the sacred island of worship outside the island that is called today Mykonos mm -hmm. but doing other things 300,000 years ago hmm. did not speak the same language did not have the same civilization matriarchal society there one of the few last hidden matriarchal societies they were destroyed and they swore to come back again and again and again until peace was restored she gets very frustrated mm -hmm. she wants now now we call her the wheel but she wants now very passionate so very mm -hmm. passionate so and she suffers because it is not happening fast enough Mm -hmm. She doesn't want to come back again. She never wanted to come down. Mm -hmm. She did not want to come down. She did not want to incarnate here. Because of that, I think she's lost all, I guess... Uh, she has lost hope. Mm -hmm. How can we restore her hope? Can I ask on her behalf for assistance from Prime Creator to help us here today to restore her hope, to her restore her mission, her sense of why her mission is here, to give her those feelings of why she came here, understand it from the perspective of Source. Can I request that on her behalf? I'd like to request the light now to envelop her. For her to feel that love that she hasn't felt in her entire life. Mm -hmm. 
she creates automobile accidents and illness in the body mm -hmm. to exit. It is her son mm -hmm. that keeps her here. Down here, it's very different. And people blind. People are blind. So blind. In what way? Can you explain yourself when you say blind? All about matter. Mm -hmm. All about matter. What should it all be about? Communion with Gaia mm -hmm. in order to create with Gaia, with Gaia, if <sighs> the language is <laughs> so difficult. People need to synchronize with Gaia's frequencies to create. <sighs> Bear with us. Mm -hmm. To explain, if and when people, the human man, mm -hmm. synchronize with Gaia. They become a machine, mm. a live <laughs> bio machine, mm. not like those who are empty of life mm -hmm. on the earth and try to obstruct in every way only living material, the library. The library must activate mm -hmm. in order to energize the library. They <sighs> humans are a part of Gaia like small organelles. Mm. are to the human body. Mm -hmm. The humans are to earth. They carry the keys, the knowledge, and the codes. But if they, as long as they do not synchronize, if they synchronize immediately, there will be created the rainbow body of Gaia. Mm -hmm. And if the rainbow body is activated, it will shine forth across the universe. And it will be a great power for change in all the enslaved systems. They do not want to permit this to happen. So as help is coming from other regions, there are those who will block it at every turn. And there is a battle going on. Well, this battle really, really Gaia bothers. is very small, but it matters not and very far away from the center of the universe, but it matters not. She is a very powerful tool for change. People must understand this. 
and Gaia is waiting, waiting. How can waiting. we? How can we activate this? How can more of us activate this? Return to Earth. Return to Earth. Pull up the cement. People in the cities are being lured into the cities and everything is covered with cement. Cement. Horrible, 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 horrible material. The earth cannot breathe. The people cannot connect. They are in trance. They are brainwashed. And the telephone towers, the telephone towers, so important, so important, they must come down. The people are being bombarded with so many things. The emissions from the flying machines. <sighs> the radio waves. The food is poisoned. And all this would not matter if they were awake because all this is nothing to the awakened brain with intention not the poisoned water not not the artificial clouds mm -hmm. and the spraying not the poisons they can do nothing nothing but they have to awaken and they are in trance and she is so angry about this mm -hmm. she does not understand why people do not understand so precious Gaia so precious they do not understand that they are alive because of her. In many of these sessions, they talk about the shift, something happening to Gaia. Can you explain to what's happening to Gaia? They are trying to kill her. They are trying to kill her in every way. Who is they? Many, many types of races. Mm -hmm. They can do nothing. They can do nothing to her. She is waiting so patiently for them. And even though she is attacked, from every place and every part. But contracts, contracts, she could just shake and it would all be over. Mm -hmm. But there are contracts. What are these contracts? Can you talk about that? Window with 
within which certain things are permitted. Up to a point, but the window of time will not always be open. And then things will change. After a certain time, it will no longer be permitted for those who interfere to interfere. They know. They know. They know about this contract? Ah, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. They know. They are trying. They are time dabblers. Mm. Playing with the timelines. Mm -hmm. Trying. Trying. And sometimes they succeed. Mm -hmm. They push it mm -hmm. back and to the side. But inevitably, they will be stopped. Are these time travelers or people who, who dabble with the time, the ones that are messing? Not time travelers. They, they mess with the time? Extra terrestrials. Extraterrestrials. Are any of these extraterrestrials doing anything to cause this Mandela effect where one moment you're thinking one thing has happened and another moment something else yes, has happened? They twist the timelines. Mm -hmm. CERN. CERN. Mm -hmm. CERN is doing it? CERN. Mm -hmm. So all of this Mandela effect is coming from CERN? And other things mm -hmm. they play with the ax axial lines mm. of Gaia. What does it do when you do that? They have tried to destroy the axial lines of Gaia and sometimes they shut them off it's almost like a bardo. It's almost like a death. They have tried to do the same thing with the sun. Hmm. Trying to shut off the sun? And to destroy it. Mm hmm. The. next to the sun, mm -hmm. around the sun. It is not allowed. Still, they try. To shut them or to open them? To explode them. To explode them so no one can travel. Mm. What do they have so much against Earth? Vested interests mm. and go back beyond history. All over the universe, they meddle. Changing the cult, mm. trying to shut down by your life. Hmm. Is this are these extraterrestrials we're talking about actual beings or is it artificial intelligence? 
They are two separate things. Mm. Artificial intelligence is like a virus mm -hmm. in the minds of certain E.T. races. It does not. It is inimical to life. It is inimical to life. What do we need to know about artificial intelligence to empower ourselves? <laughs> The elite do not understand the extent to which they are working for the AI. They do not understand. They will be made redundant. Mm. The AI takes over the brain. Some know, but are too deeply entangled. Draw back a prime creator will take care, will not be allowed. It will not be allowed for the AI to take over. It will ultimately be frustrated. How long will it take until this happens? It should have been dealt with by now, mm. but they are playing with the timelines mm. and then those who help turn them right again and then the others change it again. Hmm. This playing with the timelines, is that why sometimes or a while ago it was said that at a certain date we would be making changes to the earth and then that date changed and got pushed up and that date came is that part of it? They are meddling with the time hmm. all the time. Hmm. All the time. For the moment, it is being tolerated up to a point. How long will it be? Will it be like within our lifetime? It will take many lifetimes. Many lifetimes. Should it have happened already? This question cannot be answered mm. to the satisfaction of the human mind, as the human mind cannot grasp certain effects. So when we talk about the shift, going back to that question, which is everybody's talking about, the new earth, the shift, is this something that is happening? Is Gaia shifting to something else, to a different frequency? In the fetal stages, much time will pass in your understanding. Mm -hmm. Just beginning to dawn in humanity's mind. Just beginning to dawn. It will take many generations. Mm -hmm. 
So all of those people that are waiting for the new earth to happen now, what would you like to tell them? setting the foundations mm-hmm. they are setting the foundations so it's important work that we're doing now awakening people of course hmm Of course. As more people awaken, will that help with this battle that's going on with the good and evil? Or should I say light and darkness? There is help arriving. Mm -hmm. In what way? In waves. Mm -hmm. In waves. Are we talking about the waves of new people coming in? New children? Or in frequency? Both. Mm-hmm. Can you expand on that? They must imagine. They must imagine to energize the DNA. Mm -hmm. The more they imagine, the more they dream with, the more it will happen. Hmm. So when you say to imagine, Energizing the DNA. Visualization. Mm -hmm. That's key to everything, isn't it? (sighs) What do we have to visualize? that have been blocked by the geneticists those who would call themselves master geneticists mm-hmm. <laughs> what did he do to us? it is well documented mm-hmm. Playing God, Mm -hmm. but those beings that seeded life originally billions and billions of years ago Mm -hmm. in the universe, these smaller creators have destroyed and distorted the codes. They cut and stitch together, not knowing what they do. So much information has been lost and must 
the retreat. This is why she downloads the codes. Mm. They are the keys to the DNA. They are the lost codes. For years, she read them in her sleep time. Mm -hmm. And as she passes, everybody she passes, everywhere she goes, this is distributed to others. The knowledge of the codes awakens. The codes are dormant. The original codes, the original codes mm -hmm. are being kept from the people. In what way does Rhea do this? Does she do it knowingly? Sometimes, yes, mm -hmm. and other times, not. Well, right now, she's being filmed, and I know that film and audio... She hates it. <laughs> but film and audio she does... thinks she is ugly. <laughs> well... In film and in audio, it is recorded vibration, is it not? Yes, and this is the reason. Mm -hmm. If she... One reason why she has appeared before you mm. today. Emitting frequencies. It really matters not what she will say. What we shall say. Mm -hmm. Yes, she has the cult, mm -hmm. part of the cults, angels of the keys. There are others. Mm -hmm. There are many others, so that this may not be subverted. And every one of the code bearers does one level of the work. Hmm. And this is why she puts the codes in the bodies or she finds them in the bodies and energizes them that hmm. people do not know. But their higher self knows what to do. These are the scrolls that she sees in people. Scrolls and sometimes direct download mm -hmm. of lost DNA mm -hmm. from races that was not supposed to have been cut out. Mm. By her appearing right now in this form and being transmitted to the world, would she be able to transmit this code? To those who are listening or watching. She is doing so mm -hmm. since the beginning of your device. <laughs> mm -hmm. She does not want to, but she is compelled to. Mm -hmm. Yes, part of her knows. Mm -hmm. So this is why she has appeared here in order for her to spread this coding into people's DNA. Yes, indeed. The rest of it is circumstantial. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. We would like to say congratulations to both of you. She must know. Trust more. Mm. She doesn't trust the fact that she's not abundant. Every Greek girl should have her own house. Why has she not been able to... She was afraid that if she came down 
she would get lost in sensuality mm. and forget this has happened to her mm. a few times. I see. And so she decided to have reminders painful indeed yes yet effective so all of the experiences that she's had that have been so painful so violent are to remind her not to get lost she likes to roll in the good stuff <laughs> we will loosen the financial strictures mm. since she seems to be determined. Mm -hmm. She knows it is a contract and we will allow for after all it is she herself who has engaged in this contract but now she has asked we must say it is safe she will no longer she is not in danger mm. of forgetting so we will remove the issues of financial stricture mm. thank you Yes. She was wanting to take a QHHT course. Do hypnosis. Is this something that's on her path that would benefit her? Yes. Mm -hmm. If this is indeed what she chooses, of course, mm -hmm. she is ready she will be successful mm -hmm. yes because she wonders if she starts to practice in greece are people going to be able to see her are there people there can this is something else that is also of her own doing hmm. she did not want to be seen. Mm. She wished to fly under the radar, so to speak. What is that? Too much energy building up in the body. Okay. We are discarding it for her. Thank you. Hot. <laughs> is she physically hot? Should she remove the covers? It is stabilized. Thank you. Do not worry. <laughs> we are taking care of the physical vehicle. Thanks. Yes. And we were saying she is afraid to come out from hiding. Mm -hmm. She has been hiding. It is okay, Rhea, to come out of hiding just enough. <laughs> you must be visible. <laughs> it is not possible to be a closet healer. Yes, yeah, there is coming out that must occur. You would not want a homosexual to be in the closet. <laughs> so thus healing must come out of the closet as well. This is a pun. Human culture is 
hilarious. <laughs> we laugh. Well, I was so, laughing. I was laughing at her so, as she was talking to me when we were starting. All the trauma. <laughs> Tell her about what she needs to know. We have been telling her she is magnificent. Mm -hmm. She is a living library. She must believe in herself mm -hmm. and not pay heed to the blind. Mm -hmm. She is enormous, a being of enormous energetic volume and value. Mm -hmm. Yes, she is hiding in her cloak of fat. She hates it and yet she uses it to feel safe. Mm -hmm. She has had her vehicle destroyed many times, many times. Mm -hmm. She has been blown up. She has been eaten. She has been sunk. She has been drowned. She has been killed. She has been roasted. And she is reluctant. We understand mm -hmm. she is a reluctant dragon. So can you, you've helped her already with the smoking, stopping smoking. Can you help her with the overeating? It was not us oh. who did the smoking. Oh. It was those who are hiding in her body. Mm. They are hiding as she is hiding, one of them detests smoke. Oh, I see. Once her father passes, mm. she will lose the weight. Okay. She is using this to not threaten the family. Mm. Okay. It brings her great pain, but it allows her to gain both distance and protection okay. from them. That's understood then. Yes. When you have a family member that is holding on for fear of not transitioning, how is it that a person can help them move along? You understand, my dear, my dearest Alba of the Dawn. <laughs> it is an individual undertaking. Mm -hmm. And though we would not like to interfere, he is recalcitrant. He is what? Recalcitrant. Mm. <sighs> the reason I ask that is because Rhea had a question about free will. It seems that she doesn't believe in free will anymore. We, we talk about this being a free will planet, but then at the same time, we have a lot of well, interfering with us. She is right. Mm -hmm. And she is wrong. Both are simultaneous. She has free will. And they have free will too. Mm. It gets complicated, <laughs> no? So all of these little hitchhikers, gremlins as she call these little... Ah, uh, yes. Uh-huh. That, yes. that interfere with our lives. That seems to be the biggest issue at this time with me as I encounter so many clients with hitchhikers that can't seem to go home to, to the Creator. 
We have free will, but they interfere with our free will. You see, they are remnants of a mistake because they are of other dimensions hmm. and they have come in through an accident in the curvature of space. This is what you would call time. Hmm. At some point in a time that you would not understand there was a rift created. Hmm. These beings came in through the crack. They are from a different dimension with different geometries. They cannot they cannot survive here unless they feed. So. So the, we are, we're talking about those who feed off of lush, feed off of fear? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. These little beings. Mm -hmm. And there are also the white ones. They store the fear hmm. in space, in globules of vacuum. They use it to manipulate beings of the earth. They infect beings with the fear and at times they are broadcasting it into the ethers of 3D. They create events too, of course. Terrifying events mm -hmm. to keep the frequencies from multiplying and accelerating. So these that create these events are these extraterrestrial or are these humans or both? They are terrestrials, although Gaia does not recognize them as such. Hmm. They have been around, some of them longer than the humans. Hmm. Do they have a form? Excuse us? Do these have a form? Do they have a body? Some do, mm -hmm. and some do not. Okay. And they cause the fear. They do not exactly cause the fear. They provoke it. Hmm. Okay. And then when we be go into fear, then we feed the others. Yes. Mm. But we have become like them from many, many hundreds of millennia. How can we shift that? How can we make a change? The codes. The codes. Okay. The codes. All those with codes. We are now speaking directly to all those who embody the codes. You must energize the codes. There are those of you who hold them in their bodies as etheric chips. We believe this 
is the wording that you would use and understand. There are those of you that have been downloaded. Whether you know or not, as you hear these words, you will be energized and or activated. It is time to emit. And many, many of you are code bearers or code holders with time lapse contracts. And now it is beyond time to hold on to the time contracts you may begin releasing now. And whether or not you understand, you have now been energized. Those who are listening to this transmission will now be energized. You must move among the people and emit your coding for the DNA to be activated. We thank you for the opportunity of this transmission. Thank you. That gave me chills. <laughs> she will find love. She will. Yes. Not perhaps in the form that she thinks. But more and more, she will be surrounded by love. Hmm. Would it be helpful for her to be a representative or be a spokesperson about these DNA um, activation? Would it help? She is doing so now. <laughs> Could she do so more? Is this something that you want to get out to the masses? You see, energies accelerate. So, they move from one person to another. And as they move, they accelerate. She must trust her transmissions. Mm. She is afraid because of the remote viewers, the interference. Mm -hmm. It matters not. She must not pay attention to this. They are just specks of dust. Mm. Her information is correct. The more she uses it, the stronger it will become. And she must overcome her fear of ridicule. Mm -hmm. And many have ridiculed her. And she has been mortified by this. But these people are ignorant. They know not. So it matters not. None of this stuff matters. The down there. Mm. She is massive. She is massive. If she only knew she is massive. Well, it seems to be she's part of Alana. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And Alana she, was pretty powerful. She was here when the world was being created. Mm -hmm. She was in the Pleiades mm -hmm. as a teacher. 
teaching children basic things how to levitate one million years ago this is correct information mm -hmm. and she did indeed meet the one you now call Raphael mm -hmm. so she should trust never mind if others think what they think mm -hmm. how can we get her to trust God again <laughs> she feels like karma and reincarnation has been have been hijacked karma and reincarnation have nothing whatsoever to do with prime creator mm -hmm. tell her about that these are corrective devices that were put into place to correct certain mistakes and they have malfunctioned hmm. in what way are we caught up in a loop non-existent it is not serving its purpose mm -hmm. any longer has it been taken down more and more as people step into their power mm -hmm. In some cases, it continues due to universal inertia. Mm -hmm. It will take some time. It is being devolved okay. as a program. So those people who are afraid of coming back, they want this to be their last lifetime. Do they have anything to do with that now? Can they make that decision on their own? Yes. Yes. But they must be completely decided and completely firm about it. Hmm. They often vacillate okay. out of love for the planet. No. And this is what loops them back in. So they want to come back and help the planet again? In one way or another? It is a weight of investment. Many have come for so long to try and help. Mm -hmm. And though the flesh is willing, the spirit is weak. Mm -hmm. They have attachments, attachment to Gaia mm -hmm. and attachment to relations, mm -hmm. peoples, loved ones. Yes. So they change their mind and one must be firmly decided. That is all it takes. Okay. They loop back because of love. When we were talking before, she was telling me that she sees these black ropes coming from Gaia. What's going on? What's this energy that she sees? They're like black roots that are working with people energetically. She was able to work at very high chakras before, and now they're very low. People have fallen into fear. Mm. They are in survival mode so it is difficult for them it is more important to survive right now mm -hmm. so we are working with these lower 
factories, the spirals for strength mm -hmm. to survive, to keep on going. The black ropes are negative karma, which is being released technically, not naturally, artificially. Artificially. And... Can we feel them? Huh. Very few can. Mm -hmm. She sees. She sees it. She sees. She sees it as a curse. Mm. All the things that she feels and all the things that she sees, if she perceives to be a curse, but it is the gift of the truth holders. Mm. She can send love. She can connect these programs which she perceives as black ropes. She can connect them. We are showing her as we are speaking to you. She can connect them with streams of light through intent. She can bring down rays of white light encoded to dissolve them. They are being used to keep people from ascending into higher vibration mm -hmm. because it keeps them attached to planetary memories of past times where they d the humans did not succeed and where traumatic events took place. Many civilizations have been destroyed. Many. There have been more than you can count. So for those that are listening that also want to help, what can they visualize so that we can ascend? Send. Send out, bring down these beams of light and give the intent for the light codes to stream down through those rays of light and dissolve these so-called black ropes which are nothing else but programs of the frequencies that lie in the Akashic crystals. They are being aimed from below to the surface of the earth mm. as another way of keeping the frequency bound down into 3D they may not be able to see the black ropes themselves, but as we said before, just hearing it will energize those who are able to do this. There are many. Mm -hmm. Very good. How can we um, start making Rhea feel a little bit more uh, self-assured, more. She, f she feels like she's not really, <laughs> she's really not there. She's afraid of people, that she, afraid to find out that she's not really who she says she is. People 
are lost in three-dimensional duality. Mm -hmm. So many times people are antagonistic. Mm -hmm. She strongly dislikes this. Mm -hmm. She says she's surprised that people even liked her. She does not have perception of who she is. <laughs> She is funny, too. She is. I was laughing the whole time we were talking. Hmm. She was like a comedian. <laughs> we are highly amused by her at times. Mm -hmm. She makes us laugh. She does. She's like a, a and comedian. And when she swears at us like a sailor, <laughs> she has a mouth on her. <laughs> so you get amused by her too. Oh yes, we are in stitches. <laughs> now when you say that you are who you are, are you extraterrestrials? You the, these guides that, that work with her. She says she sees ETs. Sometimes they hide in her house. When she had the portals open, mm -hmm. she was learning about intradimensional travel. Mm -hmm and going to other nations to promote the plight of the earth mm -hmm. and to you see many beings consider those on Terra to be inferior. Mm -hmm. This is because they are in duality themselves. Duality does not only exist on Terra. It exists all over the universe. There is much, uh, much, um, they are deceived by the duality. There does not exist a better race or a worse race. It is all one. Some have become deceased in their soul. There is much of this in the universe. Mm -hmm. <sighs> But she is very loved. <laughs> she is very loved. Alia or Alili is always within her, not above, not beside, within, within the guides are interwoven with the beams. The guide is within the weft of the essence of the soul. It is a very deep bond. They have been together for many lives. Right. Yes. If there is a beautiful architecture in all of this, in all of the experiences, there is a harmony even deep within the disharmony. And this is something that is difficult for the human mind to grasp. Yes, it is so. When Rhea heals people, she feels absolutely wonderful. She is made for this. Mm -hmm. But when the people leave, she gets very sad. 
How can we balance that out more? There must be a desire to enjoy and experience. It is allowed. It is allowed. She was afraid she might become lost again within the sickness. Mm -hmm. And it is all right to enjoy. She will not get lost. Mm -hmm. She will not get lost. She must know this. Will she be able to channel more freely now that we've had this little conversation? What was blocking her before? DNA? Fear ah. of giving the wrong information because of the heebie-jeebies, as she likes to call them. <laughs> Are these the entities that we... Entities inside visiting the body. Mm -hmm. Yes, sometimes. How many it, of those are there today? We see six or seven. Is there a way that you can send these heebie-jeebies away without having to connect mm. with them? The heebie-jeebies. <laughs> And the entities yes. are two different matters. Ah, okay. Can you explain that for me? Well, we talked about the lower vibrational beings mm. that came in through the rift. Yes. They have many shapes and sizes. They feed off of the energy of humans. To survive, they must be freed. But the time has not come yet. This will take place in appropriate timing. Okay. But the people who were lost mm -hmm. and have taken cover in her body, mm -hmm. they are there because so that she can see that as she has been hiding from the world for years now, mm -hmm. they are also hiding. Mm -hmm. It is a parallel. So she is hiding. They are hiding also. <laughs> she is giving refuge to them. Not completely in a way that is conscious. Okay, so now that we understand that this is the issue, that these uh, lost souls are, are hiding within her? She needs the process because mm -hmm. she is so skeptical. She is. Okay, so is there anything that you would like to tell her before we address these these souls. We have heard she has dissolved the financial issues. Yes. She has also dissolved the contracts that have Proceeded out of fear of getting lost. Mm -hmm. These have been dropped. She has cut through awareness. The contracts are now nil. Wonderful. <sighs> and we talked about the new earth. She wanted to know if she was going to make it there. <laughs> She glides in and out, mm -hmm. and it is okay for her to spend much more time in the fifth dimension. Mm -hmm. It is okay. The world will proceed 
without her. It is okay. She is not betraying the people of Gaia by accelerating out. Mm -hmm. There will be others who will help them who are in a stage where they their mission is to help those she she can relax she has done much work much 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 work she has done so much energy shaking and moving and transforming mm -hmm. it is beyond her scope to understand <laughs> has given so much mm. to the world. Hmm. She will laugh when she passes. She thought not giving enough, not being good enough. So funny. She is funny. Hmm. Well, in the meantime, between the time that she passes and now, can you help her find a place where she's more in nature so that she can do her work better? It is not time yet. No? It is not time yet. She will have a companion. Mm -hmm. It is later on. Later on. She, she must be patient mm -hmm. in her country, they say. You have eaten the donkey. It is no matter to eat the tail. <laughs> you can eat the tail, too. There is only the tail left. Okay. Uh, it, it will happen. Okay. So it'll come when the time is right and she'll have a companion to yes. be there. Wonderful. Yes. Fantastic. Good. Um, as far as health issues are concerned, uh. would you do a scan on her, please? What's going on there? The heart is heavy. Mm -hmm. She is holding for her. obligation. However, th this is not her obligation that has been contracted. She has been pushed into this. We are now dissolving and helping her to release yes yes she need not do this any longer is this why her feet were turning brown Yes. Mm -hmm. He cannot pump and clear mm -hmm. his circulatory any longer. And she is taking some of the dross. She is taking the dross into her body. She need not do that. The respiratory is from entity attachments. An entity attachment. Yes. Okay. Mm hmm And the thigh. Mm hmm 
Is that the pelvis or? The lower mm -hmm. pelvis. Yes, that's an entity also. It has, there is an entity, although it is not the entity that has created this. It is an emotional, mm -hmm. undissolved globule, globules. So we'll work on that also. Yes, indeed. What about the lower back? Is that a physical thing or is that an attachment? The pelvis mm -hmm. twists forward to accommodate for the scoliosis. Mm -hmm. And this places undue burden on the musculature in that area. What's the origin of scoliosis? Where does that come from? As she developed in the womb, she was shocked again and again by the internalized feelings of the mother mm. by the time the mother's laboring began she was trying to exit the body this is the reason for the breach birth mm. she did not want to be born fear and as she proceeded to grow, every time the soul received trauma, the body twisted to avoid. And this mechanism of escape became solidified. If she were not scoliotic, she would be five centimeters taller. Can we make her taller today? Can we get that fear out of her today? Would you allow me to help her with that? Yes. All right. Indeed. Thank you. She desires it. Very good. So, Ray, I'm going to put my hand on your chest, and I want you to finally get all of that fear, pull it out of every cell of your body, and give it to me. We're going to send it up to the universe for healing. Pull it out mm -hmm. of every cell. Every cell of your body. Pull out all of that fear. We don't need that in there anymore. Okay. Tell me when I have it all. Oh, my God. Pull it all out. It's being sent straight up. Oh. It's even in the crystalline structure of the bones. Mm -hmm. Pull it all out. It's being sent right up to the universe for healing. Mm. Mm. Take that up and get rid of all of that. And allow, what would we like to replace all that with? What would we like to put in there today? Rainbow light. Let's put that rainbow light in. Feel it going in like a fire hose of rainbow light. As it comes in from the universe, filling every cell, every muscle, every bone, ligament, space between the cells. Feel that rainbow energy coming in. 
And we're going to touch your forehead and let's seal that in. Seal that in. So tell me how her body looks now. Mm. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Good. What has shifted with that? No tension in the body. Mm. We are able to straighten out the spine. Wonderful. Are you going to do that now for her? Yes, we are doing so. Mm -hmm. And it will continue to shift over the next two to three months. We do not want to shock the body too heavily. Mm -hmm. It will happen of its own accord. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Hey, while you're working on her structure, would you tell me what's going on with her teeth and her gums? Mm. She has been fighting with an entity mm -hmm. for many, many years of this. Is a very angry entity, mm -hmm. and it tries to make her say nasty stuff, mm -hmm. and she fights back. They are fighting for control of the mouth cavity. Mm -hmm. Yes, and so we'll get to talk to them in a minute, because if it's very angry, it, it is not her. Mm -hmm. She thinks she is awful. Mm -hmm. It's not her. <laughs> All right. What about um, the bad absorption in her intestine? What's all that about? Trauma mm -hmm. and entity. Okay, so we'll take care of that in a minute. And the lungs. Mm -hmm. Entity. Same thing. Yes. Any issues with the thyroid? We believe that once the entity is removed, mm -hmm. we will heal. Wonderful. The thyroid machine. Keeps it all knotted up mm -hmm. inside, and it is like a vicious cycle mm -hmm. because, as she thinks, she is not a good mother, she creates stress in him. Mm -hmm. He does not think she is not a good mother. He worries about her because she is the only thing he has. Yes. And he is afraid to lose her. He senses when she wants to die. And this is difficult for him. Of course. If she releases, he will be much happier. Mm -hmm. Is this something that we need to release today? Yes. All right. Yes, she needs the process. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Rhea, I want you to see yourself in front of this person who hurt you. You know who he is? All of them. Mm -hmm. I know who they are. Put them all in front of you. Yes. And I want you all, I want you to see each one of them. And you have a contract in your hand. And we're going to break this contract today. Four contracts. All right, let's see. And you have one too. So I want you to look at each one of them and say, we tried. We really tried. We tried. We really tried. But it's not working. <laughs> it's not working. Mm -hmm. 
And it's not working. You go your way with love? Yes. You go your way with love. And I'll go my way. And I'll go my way now. We don't need to be connected anymore. We don't need to be connected anymore. So I want you to envision those contracts being torn up, burned, ripped up, stopped on, whatever it is you want to do with them. And you'll see a connection between each and every one of you. Something that has been gone directly into your heart. You can feel that pressure in your heart. I want you to pull that out of your heart. And at the same time, pull it out of their heart. You don't need to be connected. And you can send that right up to whatever archangel is there waiting for you. What archangel is there waiting for you to give them to you? I would imagine Raphael would be there, or Michael. 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 Give those. Raphael, Uriel, Ariel, and Metatron. Very good, my team. Send them, give those cords that you've just disconnected from your heart and from their heart, and just give it to them. We don't need that connection anymore. And oh, breathe thank freely. You, thank you, God. Breathe freely now. Oh, my God. Feel the freedom of not being connected. Hmm. <laughs> Yes, beautiful feeling. And now as you're free, I want you to look through your body and let's find where those shadows are in your body. <clears throat> I want you to scan your body from head to toe and tell me where you see a shadow that shouldn't be there. There is one in the back left lobe of the lung. Mm -hmm. That's where it hangs out. All right. Jesus. Let's bring that energy up, 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 up. Good evening. Would you please tell me if you're male or female energy? I am male. You are what? Male. Male. Okay, you say that with a very strong way. You must be very male. What may I call you? What name can I call you? Are you trying to figure out her name? No. Can I give you Macho Man? You seem very, very, very male. How does that sound to you? What business is it of yours? Well, we're talking every time you talk with somebody. It's nice to address them with, with a name. Benicio. Benicio. That's a nice name, Benicio. Benicio, it seems to me you're very angry. What are you so angry about? What happened to you that makes you so hard and angry? Because for someone to be angry, something must have happened to them. Mi hanno tradito. Capisci? Well, you have to talk to me in English because this is being, this is a conversation in English. They betrayed me. Ah. Bastards. Mm, who are they? Who betrayed you? Nice racket going. Mm -hmm. Everything going nice. Mm-hmm. Benicio, what kind of racket did they have? Everything. Mm -hmm. What kind? Fun. Guns. Mm -hmm. Drink. The girls. Mm -hmm. The gambling. Everything. And what were you, Benicio? Were you one of them? Right hand to the capo. Oh. Okay. Right hand to the boss, you mm -hmm. see. And then you, you're involved in all that too, Benicio. So why did they betray you? Jealous. They were jealous of you. Bastardi. Mm -hmm. No, it's no need to say bad words here. I am cretino, you see. I let my guard down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what happened? <laughs> they cleaned me out. Mm -hmm. Where did they clean you out? Where did they, they hit you? They stabbed me in the back. They stabbed you in the back. And I'm sure that it went right through your lung, didn't it? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. 
So that's, not, that's why. Not only are you betrayed, but you're I, in pain. I hurt her there. Of course you are. That I would make. I hurt her there. I yeah. put my finger in. Yes, it hurt. Well, Benicio. I hurt her. Mm, yes, but we're going to do something that makes you feel better, Benicio. I want you to go back to that moment where they stabbed you. Go back to that moment where they stabbed you. I want you to see those that happening. Yes. And I would like for you to now heal that lung. I want you to dissolve that knife. Feel that pain going away. I'm taking it out. Taking it out and now heal it. Use your energy to heal that lung completely. Dissolve it. It's not the lung. In the back. I stay in the lung. All right, but it, you hurt, you got hurt in the back, right? Yes. I... So go ahead and start healing that area. Feel the comfort of it as you yes. start healing. Yes. Okay. It. Okay. It feels good, doesn't it, Benicio? Uh, she feels good, not me. <laughs> I don't care. All right. It's so, not my body. Not your body. That's right. So, Benicio, I'd like for you now to look at the guy who betrayed you. Carlo. Carlo. I want you to see where it is that you and Carlo had a contract in another life. What did you do to him in another life? Go back and see. Uh, I did the same to him. Ah. Yes, okay. You figured it out, didn't you? It's yes. kind of funny, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> see. <laughs> All right. So can you see that it's just what you did? To payback. It? It's a payback. And you understand that. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. So now that you see that, it's kind of funny, isn't it? <laughs> so are you angry anymore, Benicio? I don't Not think so. really. No. Are you ready now to go home and get a new body? If you want to. Or would you like to just go back to source? Benicio, inside of you. I want to be a sexy woman. You want to be a sexy yes. woman? Yes. Wonderful. I come back. Oh. I'll be a sexy, sexy woman. Sexy woman? Yes. Okay. So, Benicio, I want you to go ahead and start pulling all of your energy out of her body. And inside of you, you're going to see a white light. This is the white light of the Creator. <gasps> Open up that white light. Oh, dear. You feel it? Oh, very dear. Mm-hmm. Sono fatto di luce. It's beautiful, isn't it? I am made of light. You are. <laughs> Benicio, go ahead and be, you're surrounded now by the archangels. I've asked them to come and help you. And take Archangel Michael's hand. He's going to take you right back up to source. What would you like to tell Rhea on the way out? Yeah. Schools, I mean, things happen. Yes. Yes. Rhea, do you forgive this man for what he's done? He didn't know any better, did he? He's a pain in the ass. Well, send him but off with I, love. I forgive him. Yes. Send him with love. He didn't know any better. Oh, wait, he? wait. I want all this stuff to come out of all my right. back first. All right. Benicio, take all that out. Still pulling out. Oh and Rhea, God. go inside of your back, and I want you to make yourself really tiny, and I want you to use a hose of light. And go ahead and start shedding mm. that light over all of that area. Oh my God! Send he light took into up it. So much space. Send all that love in there. All that light. Mm. Tell me when it's all. Benicio, light. it's okay. Mm -hmm. Benicio, may the light of the universe accompany you. Pull all of that energy out of her body. Oh God. Tell me when it's all gone. Oh, oh my God, all these years. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's look through your whole body again, and let's see where you see something else. Okay. What do you see now? Okay, so let's bring that energy up, bring it up, 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 up. Good evening. Mm. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a thought form? Or are you an? I'm Pammy. You're Pammy. Pamela. Pamela. I'm Pamela. Pamela, how old are you? I'm. 
You say you're nine? How old are you? Seven or eight. Seven or eight. Pamela, how did you find Rhea? I was skipping along the road. Mm -hmm. And I was kicking stones mm -hmm. after school was out. And what happened to you, Pamela? And she was still at school. She was on that thing that turns, mm -hmm. playing by herself. And I just, I was lonely. Mm -hmm. And you decided to, to join with her? Well, Pamela, how is it that you lost your body? What happened to your body? Oh, they took me. Somebody took you? They took me from the playground. Mm, somebody kidnapped and you? And did awful things to me. Mm -hmm. And when I saw her, she had the same in her mm. body. The same pain in her body? Yes. Okay, Pamela, so you decided to help her, or you had the same thing? No, I thought she would understand. Okay. I just needed somewhere to be. I was lonely and lost, and she's a very kind lady. She's a kind lady. But, Pamela, what, did, what kind of pain did you cause her? I've been hiding deep inside her pelvis because I was frightened. Mm -hmm. And did you, does she feel you in any way? I went there where her own hurt spot was. Mm -hmm. I went to the hurt spot because I thought if I went there, she wouldn't notice. Ah. She didn't. But does she still hurt? Yes. Okay. So you didn't help her, actually, did you? No. No. Pamela, why didn't you go home to the light? I can. Yes, you can. Do you know how to start it? Would you like to tell me how? Will you take me by the hand? Well, I'm going to make it even better first because I want you to feel better. I'm afraid. You're not going to feel afraid in a minute. Look inside of you, Pamela. There's a little white light there. Do you see that little white light? A little white light right inside of you. Yes. That's the light of the Creator. In my heart. Make it bigger, Pamela. Make it so big it takes over your whole body. I'm white. Why does that feel? I'm white. Do you feel scared anymore? No. That's white. Light. I want to go home. All right. So I'm going to ask the I... angels to surround you. I'm going to ask them to come see you. I, is Mommy going to be there? We'll find out in a minute. But first, before you do, I want you to pull out all of the energy that in, inside of her from that space that you were. Wait, because I have to uncoil it. Yes, pull it all out, please. I've twisted it around and around and around Take many it. times so that it won't unstick. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to float away again. Go ahead and pull everything out. Pull it all out. Oh, right. Yes, yes. So, Pamela, do you see the angels waiting for you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Archangel Michael is going to take you by the hand. Oh, my goodness. What does he look like? There are so many of them. Mm. Oh, they're so beautiful. They're going to take you right home. Tell me when you get there, Pamela. Oh, it's nice to be a particle of light, isn't it? Yes. Tell me when you get the, to the light. Yes. Tell me who's there. Unity. Unity. Light. Light. I'm in the hands of God. You're in the hands of God. Beautiful. Light. I am one with all of them. You're one with all of them. May the light of the universe always accompany you, Pamela. Thank you so much. And now let's scan the body and see if we find anything else. And behind the liver. Behind the liver, all right. So let's bring that energy up, 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 up. 
Good evening, are you male or female energy? Are you male or female energy? I am neutral now. You're neutral now. Tell me why you're so neutral. Many, many years. Mm-hmm. How long have you been there with her? Just a smidgen. I float. You float? From body to body. Mm. Sometimes I jump out before they pass. Ah, okay. So what is it that you are? What kind of energy are you? Did you ever have a body before? I must have had a body. Mm -hmm. Let's find out who you were. So we could find out how it is that you lost that body. It's very important. In China. In China. Mm -hmm. How China. old were you when you lost your body? How old do you feel right now? Oh, I was... Very wealthy. Very well. And very powerful. Mm hmm So what happened to you if you were so wealthy and powerful? I choked. You choked. On what? Eating. That's not a good way to go, is it? It's not ready. Mm-hmm. And that's why? I was sure. Mm -hmm. I lost it all. The admiration, the wealth, the power. I was not ready to go. Mm. What did they call you in that lifetime? Did you have a name? If you were so powerful and wealthy, you must have had a name. Oh, Hui Sin. Mm-hmm. Hui Sin? Mm. Something like that. Mm-hmm. So... I floated. You floated, and then how did you find this I, woman, Rhea? I went into a body. Mm-hmm. And we crossed over the sea. of Asia. Mm -hmm. And then I have been skipping bodies. Once you learn, it's easy. You get bored after a while. I have been with her in the United States. I found her. Mm. I was in the body of the crazy bat and when she came to the house I jumped mm. and I transferred okay so what did you make her feel all this time what kind of symptoms does she feel with you I twist around the liver you twist around the liver and so I what? squeeze Mm -hmm. And I squeeze the right lung, too. And I go down and I squeeze the kidney, too. And what pleasure do you get out of doing that? Different strokes for different books. Mm. I see. Yes. Well, it seems to me you're very bored and you don't have anything to really feel good about, do you? You have a point there. Yeah. Well, inside of you, there's a little spark of light. This is the light from Creator. This is the spark that created you. It seems to me that this light has been turned off for a while because you're not feeling very good about yourself. Let's turn that light on and make it really bright. Take over your whole body. Feel that light all over you. How does it feel?
pretty good, doesn't it? Well, I don't know. It's strange. Mm -hmm. Make it bigger and bigger. Let's, let's play with it and see how big this light can be. Oh, wow. You feeling pretty powerful now? Mmm, different sort of power. Is it a nice one? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Are you ready to feel that all over you? You ready to go back home? Where all of this is? What is all? More light. More light. If it feels so good in this, imagine how big it is when you go home, when it's all light. How can I trust you? Well, let's get one of the angels to come over and take you right to the edge of the light so you can feel it. I'd like one of the angels to take you there so that you can feel that. It is my son. Mm. My son has come. What is he telling you? Come, mother. Mm -hmm. Oh, there are many, so many of them. How does it feel to be surrounded by so many of them? <sighs> Is this true? Ask them. <gasps> oh, my dogs. Mm -hmm. My dogs. And what are they doing? Are they waiting for you? Yes, mm -hmm. they are all waiting. So before you leave, I'd like for you to pull out all of your energy from her body. Get it all out. We don't need any of that lingering. Pull all of that energy from her body. Maybe. Maybe it will be interesting. Mm, it will be. More interesting there. Oh, I am coiled all around her. I am coiled in the intestines. Go ahead and pull all of that out. I'm going to ask Archangel Raphael to help with this. Go ahead and start using your energy to dissolve these coils. <sighs> tell me when it's done and tell me when you get to the light. We are all going. Very good. It's like what these modern people call a picnic. A picnic, very good. It are there is. any others in the body with you that that perhaps have been hanging out with you? Or are you on your own? I'm on my own. Okay. Is there any energy left in her body from you? Still pulling out. Very good. I have been there for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. oh, I have been with her. Oh, I'm pulling out. Can you forgive yourself for not doing this sooner, for not having this pleasure of this beautiful light sooner? I have yet to determine. Mm. But... There is a certain spaciousness. Mm -hmm. I have to admit it's better. It is. Can you forgive yourself for not going sooner and tormenting yourself all these years? Keeping yourself from this beautiful pleasure? I had fun mm -hmm. skipping through the bodies. Mm. Would you like for all of those people to forgive you because leaving with all of that heaviness must be very... No, you are right. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to see all of these people before you that you've been tormenting and go ahead from spirit to spirit, ask for forgiveness. There are more than a hundred. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and do it. You can do it very quickly. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And ask Rhea. If she will forgive you. We have learned from each other. <gasps> there is someone else. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, I am out. I am out. Good. Oh, there's another one in there. All right. I'll get yourself out of there. I'll talk to them in a moment. Go ahead and go with Archangel Michael. May the light of the universe accompany you. Go ahead and pull everything out. Thank you. May the light of the universe accompany you. Thank you very much. And let's bring that other energy up, the one that's still in there. Where is it, please? Uh, bring it up. Where is it? Mm-hmm. All right, let's bring it up, 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 up. Good evening. Are you male or female? Hmm. Uh. You are male. Mm -hmm. What name may I call you? Ambrosius. Ambrosius? Yes. Did you have anything to do with Benicio? No. No? You seem to be hanging out in the same area. No. No? Where were you hanging out? In the back, in the left side of the back, mm -hmm. too, also. And what are you doing there? jumped in because she interfered. She interfered with what? I had possessed the body. Mm hmm And that idiot asked her for help. Mm. And she started sending light. Oh, and you didn't like the light. So I attacked her. I see. And what is it that I you don't like about? I stuck my tongue in her ear and she bit my tongue. <laughs> so I decided I was going to do a number on her. Oh, what number have you been doing on oh, her? Oh, <laughs> I do not give her a moment's peace. Mm. I see. So she does she feel that she doesn't like life because of you? Yes. Mm. Why is it that you didn't like life, Ambrosio? What was wrong with you? What happened to you? Because it seems to me if you're so dissatisfied with life, something must have happened bad to you. I have been trapped. You've been trapped? Who trapped you? Thousands of years. Mm -hmm. How many years? Thousands. Thousands? Ambrosia, what happened to you? We... We... We were trapped between the third and fourth dimension. Mm -hmm. Who's we? There are thousands. We are legion. You're a legion. And why are you trapped there? We are legion. Mm -hmm. They trapped us between the third fourth dimension. So how many are you in her body? Is it just you? <sighs> Three or four of us. Mm, so you're all trapped. We're not trapped, we're renting. Oh, you're renting. Okay. <laughs> we are, but we have been trapped down here for thousands of years. Mm, that doesn't sound like very good. I'd be angry too. A lot of us had been released into the Middle East, mm. and we are having fun. Where would you prefer to be, Ambrosio? You want to go back home? It's time, isn't it? Aren't you tired of this for thousands of years? I am afraid. Why are you so afraid? Oh, huh. We have served the Dark Ones. Mm. So you think that by serving the Dark Ones that you're not going to be forgiven? Yes. Let's find out about that. How can they forgive us? Oh, because the Dark Ones don't forgive, but the Light Ones do. You want to find out? <sighs> you want to see what, how it works? Ambrosio, even though you've been serving the Dark Ones, you have a spark of light inside of you. That light is something that you always had, and you forgot that you had that. They betrayed us. Mm-hmm. Who betrayed you? 
Ah, oh, it would not make sense to you. Okay. So, Ambrosia, let's start with that light. This is the light that created you. This is the light from the Creator. Everyone has it. Look within your heart and you'll see it. Look at that spark of light that's there. Do you see it? Look for it. Everyone has it. Everyone was created from the heart. The heart of Prime Creator. Here. All right. There it is. Is that where you've been hurting her? In her solar plexus? Yes. All right. So go ahead and find that light and make it bigger, Ambrosio. Make it big. Make it big, 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 big until you are that light. Wait, I'm trying to detach the umbilical cord. All right, go ahead and detach it. Yes, oh, so many roots I have put inside her. Pull it all out. All the solar plexus. Mm -hmm. It's over the abdomen. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, what have I done? Make yourself very bright so you have more power to pull that out. Oh, it's in our intestines oh. everywhere. Oh, my God. Pull it all out. And I'd like Archangel Raphael to assist with this and start dissolving all of that, please. And tell me, Ambrosia, when you have pulled it all out. Oh. How do you feel with that light? Oh, what have I done? Do you remember? Oh my God! Do you remember who you are now? <sighs> Do you remember who you are, Ambrosia? I feel pulled towards a certain direction. Mm -hmm. well, Forgive I'm... me. Forgive me for being creating so much pain in you. Rhea, do you forgive him? Yes, I oh. do. All right, so Ambrosia, I want you to call those others that are also there with you. I thought he was evil, but he's not. Of course not. Ambrosia, who else is there with you? One here, one here. Go ahead and call them. Yes. Tell them to fill themselves with light. And tell me what's happening. Huh? And you can send the light towards them, too. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, we are leaving. Very good. I'm going to ask the Archangels to help. Now, Ambrosio, now that you're in that state, I'd like for you to call on all of the others that have been sent out throughout the world, throughout the Middle East. Go ahead and call them. You have the power now to send that light, to tell them all to fill themselves with light so that they can finally be released out of this dimension. They have tricked you. They have tricked you. It's not true. You must let go. We have been betrayed. Tell them all to enlighten themselves. Ignite that light within. Tell them all to ignite that light. You are free. You are free now. You are free. Tell me what's happening. There is a funnel. Archangel Michael has opened a funnel. And they are all attracted. They are going towards the light. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Ambrosio, for that beautiful gesture of releasing all of those. Oh. How many are there, do you think? <sighs> they are legion. Mm. It will take days. Oh, my God. They are coming from all over. <sighs> and it's unzipping. The contract is unzipping. Oh, oh, it will take days. They are coming from all over and from down below. Uh -huh. oh. Thank you so much, Ambrosio, for that beautiful gesture. Oh, they're in the mountains. They're everywhere. <laughs> Tell them all to come. Ambrosio, take a look around the room and see if there are any others that are waiting to take your place. Are there any others in the room? Yes. Mm -hmm. There are two. Mm -hmm. Are they like you? They are waiting for him to die. Mm. The father. 
other. Mm-hmm. They are around the house. Mm-hmm. They are gathered around the house. All right. Would you call them also? They're on the steps. Call you them too. You must two. come. Fill them with light, Ambrosia. You can send the light to them. Send the light to them. Oh. <sighs> they are breaking up. Mm -hmm. It's like a crust, and when the light ignites, all the black explodes. Mm -hmm. We are really light beings. Mm -hmm. Now you remember who you are. We are light beings. Oh. <sighs> going home. Thank you, Ambrosio. May the light of the universe accompany you always. And May all the light of the universe accompany you too. Um, Thank you. Oh. Thank you so much. May the light of the universe build inside of you, Rhea. How we Thank you so much for all of that. Let me speak now with the higher self. Would you tell me if she's clear now? We are calibrating the body. Thank you. Yes, give us a moment. Thank you. We are filling it with light. Clearing out the pain. There is empty space that needs to be filled up. Mm -hmm. Bear with us. Mm -hmm. Now. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Now, we've done a lot of work here today with Rhea, and she wanted to know if there was a message to the world. There are layers upon layers upon layers of architecture and planning. We know how painful it is for you. At this time, some of us understand because we have been indeed incarnated and we explain it to those who have not. It is difficult for you at this time to see all that is occurring in your world. There is much chaos and there will continue to be. We would call it necessary turmoil, but we know you do not comprehend it this time. Be at peace. You are all taken care of as much as there is fear within you. And she herself feels excruciating pain uh, about all that she sees and hears 
she deeply feels the pain of people around her and of the events that are taking place on the system. <sighs> Others have spoken before about the necessity and we know that you do not understand and that you can please wait while we calibrate the body prefer not to speak about this as humanity cannot comprehend the complexity of what is occurring and many many are overwhelmed at this time is blocking the flow and we understand we comprehend and this is indeed why many pretend to be asleep they are holding the balance as she has held her father's disease in her body for years so that he can be helped to transit ah <sighs> Ah, so those asleep are holding the energies for those who are awake. For so many of those who are awakened are in vast pain. Oh, the heart opens up and it fills with light. And then it feels all the pain in the world. And then they close down. This creates more pain. And then the others who appear to be asleep, they take it in and they calibrate it. And then the heart is relaxes and is open to open up again and absorb more light, to emit more light into the planet. And so it goes back and forth, back and forth, in and out. So we will say at this time, do not be frustrated at, at those who seem to be asleep. Mm -hmm. They are far from it. They are serving you. They are, we would say, serving in capacity as nurses. They nurse you as you are going through the motions of accelerating your bodies of accelerating the light within your body, of coming to comprehension, remembering, pulling up the Akashic records for everybody to calibrate them. They do not need to be there on the earth in this format. And so much pain is being released as we are speaking. She is releasing out of the palms of her hands for humanity and Thus you do this, and the animals are doing it too. sounds like one of your songs hmm. but it is true the animals are calibrating at this time they are awakened on a much more massive scale than the humans and they are emitting 
for the humans and they are teaching you watch the interactions of the animals between themselves at this time there are many short sequences on your YouTube channels you will see animals of differential ilk come together and they are teaching you it is not accidental but through synchronicity you must watch the animals and the plants are doing as much as they can to fight back those who would destroy they do not understand what they are doing these distorted GMO you call them mm -hmm. yes the the plants are fighting back hmm yes what are they doing they are secreting hmm. hormones into the earth hmm. so that these seeds will not be able to flourish hmm. they are secreting alarm codes and to explain this smell of the grass that you love yes which is the alarm cries of the grass oh. because it is being destroyed why why do you need to control the plants know how to grow much before mankind was on the earth man, man likes to control everything in little boxes but the earth knows how to flourish on its own mm -hmm. why must the grass be cut it is not hair let mankind play with their hair not with the grass the grass belongs to Gaia mm. the trees belong to Gaia ah. Ah. you know the plant life has sacrificed itself they knew a time would come when they would want to flee and they decided that they would take root so they could not move to endure because in the olden days they would change venue if they were not satisfied if the circumstances changed they would move elsewhere so plants were able to move before oh indeed were trees able to move before indeed <laughs> of course you move do you not yes yes even the boulders shifted shape Hmm. Yes, at times. She has been an earth deva. She can tell you she moved in the earth and helped to promote the life. And many of you have been, but you have forgotten. Mm -hmm. Yes, she okay. speaks to the trees. <sighs> she dislikes humans because they do not understand this everything speaks mm. she knows the birds speak the insects speak mm -hmm. the grasshoppers speak even the cement speaks that part of it that is organic mm -hmm. it can speak to you the walls do speak the chairs the lights, everything, everything is alive. Mm -hmm. Alive. You do not understand. How can you have forgotten something so important? Everything dances with light. If something is organic and it is within the light, it has light codes. Mm -hmm. So you are pieces of light also how can you not remember to communicate light to light mm -hmm. so bizarre <laughs>
she gets angry. She gets so angry at the cement people. She calls them the cement people. <laughs> Can you tell her a little bit about why she has this beautiful being in her life, her dog? Uh, the Pleiadian one gave her this. Mm. Being, she is a service being, mm -hmm. and she has been with her before in Tibet. Ah, only she was a very tall, long dog then. Mm -hmm. Yes, she would accompany her master when they used to go to the edge of the cliff, and she would sit on the air and breathe hmm. for the earth and the shift. Unfortunately, women were not allowed there. Hmm. I believe they are still not, not in great numbers. She was a man. Mm -hmm. uh, so why has Sasha come into her life this time? To protect. Mm -hmm. She's afraid of losing Sasha. Very connected, mm -hmm. and she feels she does not have much else. The dog understands. Is there a message that Sasha has for her today? Yes, she thinks I do not know that she loves me. Of course, I know that she loves me. We have loved each other many, many times in different forms. She is so silly, this bald two-legged. Humans are so funny. <laughs> no hair at all. <laughs> I would never incarnate with a bald body. <laughs> what do you think about Sasha when you see a bald body? This is what Sasha says. Mm -hmm. Poor humans, the poor two-leggeds, the poor bipedals. Mm -hmm. I want to comfort them. Mm. Okay. But it is nice to have fur. Wonderful. Yes. The shots you like her fur. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, pitiful to be without hair. <laughs> is there anything else that you would like to tell Raya today? Get away from that infernal machine. Mm. She spends too much time on the machine. On the computer? Yes, mm -hmm. that's what she calls it. Even though she is in there delivering messages. Yes. I try to distract her. I bring her balls. I bring my pig. I bring the squeegee toys. But there she is. She's, she is always riding on that machine. So would you like her to spend more time with you, Sasha? It's not for me. It's for her. I can curl up, and I frequently do, and I go visit other places. Mm -hmm. It is for her because she needs to regenerate. And in order to do that, she must go into the trees mm -hmm. and the ground. Okay. The earth, the earth, the earth. She must go up to her mountain. Okay. Yes. So spend less time on the computer and spend more time in nature. Yes. Thank you very much, Sasha. I am not. You know, they think we are stupid. But I play with those things to humor her. Mm -hmm. The balls and the... <laughs> <laughs> Humans... But we love them. Yes, they are not very intelligent. Thank you very much, Sasha. I love her. Tell her I love her. We will. I do. And she must know this. I, she keeps asking me. I, I, it is so evident that I love her. Very good. Thank you so much. So now, uh, let me speak with the higher self. Are we complete today? Or is there anything else that you would like to tell her before we're done? Yes.
Yes, we believe so. Thank you very much. One last thing. Mm -hmm. The f the awareness she has, mm -hmm. even of her heebie-jeebies. Mm -hmm. The awareness is a gift, so that she may help. Yes. Be in peace. Be in peace. You too, Alba. Thank you. Sometimes I know you get tired too. It is the way down here in the body. You will soon come home. And it will be easier. Thank you very much. It is just a blinking of an eye. Mm -hmm. We honor you. Thank you. Thank you for all you've given us today. Both of you. Thank you. I'm wide awake now. Wide awake, feeling wonderful. All over. <sighs> mm. I knew that damn thing had jumped into me. <laughs> How are you feeling? Good. How long do you think you were on this journey? Oh, I don't know. How's it feel? Does it matter? Yeah. I don't know. One and a half, two hours? Three hours. Jesus. <laughs> oh, that's why my body needs to move. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Three hours. Three wow. hours. Okay. Your higher self and everybody had a lot to say. How does your body feel, though, after all this? Feel okay? I'm calibrating. Yeah, you are. Hello. My body. Mm hmm It's going to take a few days for you to finally get back. Mm -hmm. So this was a really uh, mind-blowing session. I think so. <laughs> yes, it was. <sighs> Is this something you want to share with the world? Love yourselves. Mm-hmm. You've got a big job to do. Oh, God. Oh, I'm kind of reeling. I'm sorry. I'm not really here. I know you're not. Oh. <laughs> I know you're not. You have the selenite? Get that selenite. I have a message. Activate, people. Yes, you activate. do. Activate. You have to activate. And this session activated everybody who has the DNA code oh. in them been wondering about it was nice to know about that mm -hmm. I've been wondering for so many years I've been doing this mm -hmm. and saying what is this for when will it activate well now the we moment an answer the moment we started filming it was activating wait I need to clear these out <laughs> it's okay oh poor things I'm sorry you guys are so wonderful <laughs> <laughs> thank you so you want to share this I guess. We cut out the personal stuff? Yes. All right. Yes. That way I can share. Of course. <laughs> well, let me do some promo here. People. Yes. Yes. Alba was everything I thought she would be, but I knew she would be. So, do this. Excellent. So, how do you feel? How do you feel now that you've been through three hours of this? You guys, I feel like I've lost about 50 kilos of weight. That would be about 120 pounds. Mm-hmm. Yes. And uh, we are filming this in uh, South End on Sea, which is in the UK. I don't know how she found this place. <laughs> it's this tiny, tiny little village. Yeah. It's a little seaside village, about, I guess, of an hour from London, or maybe 40 an minutes. An hour and a half. An hour and a half from London. And uh, Rhea, tell everybody where you come from. Where do you live? I live in Greece. So she lives in Greece and she came all the way to the UK to see me. Yes, I would have come to Miami, but she said she was mm -hmm. coming to England. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you were here, I guess when you came here, I guess it was you kind of nervous and not knowing. Of course. Mm -hmm. Yes. You look very chill now. Humans like to be in control, but you know that. 
Uh, yes. So now that you've had the experience. I knew this was just how it was going to be. So mm -hmm. it was. It started out beautifully on um, this with, with your uh, Elena. Elana. Elana. Yes. I couldn't get a difference between the oh, different names. She's so beautiful. Elana. Very tall, and then we talked to your guide for a little while, and then your higher self, and then... I don't remember everything. She'll remember later. <laughs> so, um, it was really powerful. What about all the entities? Wow. Just Benicio guy. So yeah. Do you speak Italian? Yes. Well, it helped. Yes. <laughs> it helps I know a little bit of Italian, too. It's like, okay, I know what he was talking about. Excellent. Good. So, um, happy little scumbag. Yeah, but he's, we found out that he himself had betrayed somebody else. So kind of like, oh, okay. He started laughing afterwards. So if you would like a session with me, you can do the same thing that Raya did. Go to albawyman.com. I am based out of Miami, but I do travel all around. Watch the videos, guys. The videos are excellent. Yeah, and now we know that we are going to be activating our DNA with this little session. So this was a very powerful session. Yes, if people, people who watch it. Yes. And the right people will watch it. Mm -hmm. They will be activated. Yeah, I got chills, like from head to toe. It was like, Vroom. I don't know so, how anybody else would feel it. So but you have been activated. I guess so. <laughs> I, I was tingling. <laughs> So it works. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I uh, hope I get to see you in the future. Just go to my website, sign up, and we'll see each other soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye, guys. Bye. Okay. Give me that big hug that I deserve. Oh, I'm all wet. That's okay. Mm -hmm.